I'm Ozzy Griffin, and uh, big Happy New Year's to everybody out there on YouTube. Uh, this is a response to Hannibal the Victor and your video about um, uh, atheism and the personalities and the infighting. The scary thing, and I'm going to scare you here, is I've seen this before. Oh yes, I've seen this before. Only they weren't atheists, far from it. These were people in the New Age or spiritual communities. Uh, a lot of you may notice, uh, I allude to yet don't really get into the fact that uh, I've looked into uh, these things myself in the past. Now, tell me if this personality profile sounds familiar. This individual claims to be a great proponent of a community and its beliefs and its values. They constantly talk about the enemies of this community and they constantly talk about uh, how the community can better itself. Very, very good at uh, leveling somewhat valid criticisms. And Yet, when you put these people to the test for their practical knowledge of the things that brought most people into the community, they say that they'll agree with the tenants. They'll say that, oh yeah, yeah, I'm fully into that, yeah. And yet, when you pit them against somebody who is legitimately saying your community is invalid, their practical knowledge comes up very, very short, or their unable to coherently defend themselves against somebody who has thought through their own argument, uh, thought, I meant that, thought through their own counter-arguments. If you're thinking someone like, uh, what do you call this guy, Thunderfoot, I don't subscribe to his channel, so I don't, uh, really know that much about the bloke, then know that it sounds very similar to some people I studied in, or, uh, observed in the New Age and spiritual communities. And to be truthful, I have seen them around. I've seen the same thing. People say, oh, I'm all into yoga and, uh, you know, I'm working on, you know, opening my chakras. I'm hoping to that Kundalini stuff. You know, I'm going to go down to South America and uh, drink those weird uh, brews that will give you psychedelic experiences. Uh, later <laughs> and if you if you listen to the spiritual community long enough you hear the exact same thing yet you take one of those people who's always saying oh you know there's people in our movement and our you know enlightenment circles or whatever they call themselves I don't keep up with them that well these days uh, who you know, aren't doing as well as they could or, you know, are distracting us with false information. You know, they're very, very spare on the ideas of how to get back to properly embracing the truth that initially brought everyone together and incorporating it into a larger lifestyle. So, yeah. I hate to tell you this, mate. However, I have seen this before. So, let me give you a bulletin from the future as to where this is going to go. These people are in spirals. So, they're not in circles, they're in spirals. Spirals go either in or out, depending on your attitude and your uh, perception of them. Yes, there are sycophants. Oh, the sirens. Anyway, yes, there are sycophants. Yes, there are hangers-on. Uh, yet I guarantee you one thing. When, when it's all is said and done, these people wind up with only the most brainwashed, dedicated, hardcore followers still saying anything uh, good about them within about... Give it about two years. Give it about two years. It's a anecdotal, I'm not saying statistical, it's anecdotal for me that when somebody is really in, under the influence of somebody else, 
it takes about two years uh, for them to fully work it out of their system. They need to go through a full cycle of seeing what they are for a whole year and then a full cycle of seeing how it's not changing or evolving or growing because that's one thing I've noticed about life. You're either, sorry, well, there's a, well, for social life, you can either grow or you can shrink. Now, much like bamboo that's, you know, even that doesn't appear to be growing during the winter, it's putting down roots during the winter. In my experience in society, you're either, no, I mean that. In my experience, when it comes to public figures, they're either putting down deeper roots, which means you've got to preach to the choir once every so often. Nothing wrong with that. Or you've got to uh, branch out. And the problem with these people, these, uh, you know, maybe cult of personality isn't right, these flash in the pan advocates is that they'll make their money, get their attention, and uh, everyone will adore them and their presentation style for a while. Yet because they don't go on to work with anything else of substance, uh, they basically die out. Uh, give it about two years, two and a half years, and this Thunderfoot bloke will be less relevant than he is today. Trust me. I've seen this happen with uh, conspiracy theory radio show hosts, uh, people in this new in the new age and spiritual movement, uh, politics, whatever. I've seen it happen plenty of times. Two and a half years. If this guy's a fraud, if he doesn't really, if he's just doing it for his own self-aggrandizement, uh, or if he's just. Uh, you know, in it for the fame of the fortune, um, or the, uh, or just to be relevant to somebody, two and a half years, people will start forgetting about him because, or her, or anyone else, because these people don't grow, they don't branch out, and when they don't know how to attend to their roots, to their uh, fan base, they lose them. Anyway. So, I hope that's given you some perspective on this. It's anecdotal, so, you know, don't ask me for sources. I can't say anything more than you're looking at it. However, in my experience, two and a half years, and we'll see whether this person really had anything of substance to contribute to the idea of atheism, or skepticism, or rationality, or critical thinking. Trust me, you're either contributing or you're just copying everyone else and you're, you got two and a half years to enjoy it. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin and remember, even David and I came up with new material every, every so often on every talk, talk and a half. So yeah, you got to keep the wheel moving if you want to move forward. I'll catch you.